After the mix of grass and meadow flowers has been cut, it is turned several times to ensure it is dry and formed into rows ready for baling. Then it's time to start baling. Here an older machine is used that produces small bales that are easier to handle. It takes skillful handling of the tractor to keep the baler on the row. It's quite a noisy affair. This particular area of the farm produces exceptionally good hay and has likely to have done so for centuries. And here comes the trusty old tractor with the bale cart. It's important to get the bales loaded and stored away in the barn as soon as possible. And this is where the boss lends a hand, something she has done here since childhood. Who needs a tractor? It's then just a matter of load and carry, and the hope is that it will feed the animals right through the winter months. <laughs> 